Hey guys, uh, back here with a guide. Um, it's not a RuneScape guide, but it's pretty much um, how to do how to make RuneScape videos or any other you know record the screen game and a um, little bit of an in detailed guide and how I do it and what I use. Now, um, let me exit out of this. Now, what program I use is Camtasia Studio Seven. I'm, I don't need that fucking earphone in me, but. Um, it's a great program. I've been using it for you know a year and a half now, and it um, works great for me. I uh, wish the damn thing would pop up. There we go. Um, you know, and that's how I record RuneScape. Um, now I'm gonna click. Uh, once this pops up, uh, you have you know a bun bunch of options right here. You know, like import media if you want to do any editing or anything. But um, I only use these top two really. So I'll hit record the screen which is what I'm doing right now but um, I'll just kind of describe to you how this works um, even though you can't really see the thing um, but right here it will have a little drop down menu thing you just click that and um, maybe I can do it through here and hope I can um, but it'll be like you know select what audio you want um, um, uh, shit um, select what audio you want um, like your voice uh, microphone and then you can also have this option that is record uh, the desktop which um, that's you know if I have music playing like this or something then um, you know it records that for your your you know your gameplay like if I had you know fear open you know I can record this whole thing and all the sounds and everything but um, and uh, you know you do that and what you want to do is you want to adjust your system volume down here and like go to the game say if you were playing fear now say if it's too loud like it overpowers your voice and people can't hear you well that's easy just you know go down here hit um, you know hit to whatever it is you need to go to and um, shit I don't even know what I'm saying but you know you just kind of you just adjust it to whatever sounds good to you so you, people can hear the stuff in the background and um, if you hear stuff in the background and hear your voice loud and clear so you know people don't get confused and shit um, I don't know what this 200 million account thing is it's probably some scam or shit but um, who cares uh, but over here, of course, you're going to have like a webcam option to turn on your webcam. You know, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, now, now, when you hit stop, it'll ask you to save your, um, you know, your project. You just save the project. And then I'm just going to do a quick example. Um, <coughs> this will automatically just, um, it will automatically pop up like this and um, this is the exactly how it happens and everything and then this thing will show right here and it'll show like a default dimension now with this default dimension you want to do is you want to select your um, recording size or you know you could select YouTube HD which I think that will end up if it's not like a big enough video it will like shrink it and morph it so it might not be the best quality so that's why I always just do whatever recording dimensions that I had it on and um, I'm just gonna hold on maybe I can I'm just gonna sh I just oh, fuck hold on this is how it looks like when you um, have a webcam going while you're talking um, it will automatically line up the two uh, two videos of your screen and your webcam now how to move your webcam is simple all you do is just click this you know drag it down a little bit and then throw it up in the corner and it'll stay like that the entire you, you know want to the entire commentary or whatever the hell you're doing now I'm just gonna import a different media here um, just for an example um, I'm gonna just bring this in here. Um, this is this is how to do a picture in picture. Um, pretty much. Hold on. Let me get uh, another 
um, thing in here for the example of how like I do it you know at the end of my videos um, and how I scrolled out like this either you can use this down here or you can hold down control and just use the scrolly wheel now here um, you're gonna have your um, you know your picture and normally I do 15 seconds for this last um, this last image thing for you know at the end of it we'll click out you know check out my last video but what you do is just click this little um, little icon down there and then for the image duration I usually do 15 seconds so I hit enter and let me scroll in here a little bit yeah it's pretty shitty there we go and um, then it's 15 seconds now normally I do have a transition so what you want to do is hit this more hit transitions now it has a bunch you know not a bunch but it's got a good amount of uh, transitions I usually do fade to black so what you want to do is you ha you have to put it in between um, the two um, media files you have in your video otherwise you know if you try to do it out here it won't work now normally on this I do a second and a half transition so all you gotta do is right click here hit transition duration and then 1.5 then go back to your clipman you see right here that it has the transition do something pretty quick here just uh, for an example see fade through the black and bam we're in business now right here um, you uh, you want to click this nope actually you want to click the video that you want to do picture in picture and hit add to picture in picture video and what it's going to do it's going to have your picture in picture and your audio file now usually for my um, you know check out my last video I just put a random point and you know that's good enough for me but if I can get this scrolled over enough um, this little thing right here is going to be one of your best friends it locks in between the ends and in between of the uh, aud different audio files or transitions so if you want of course you're gonna want to have your picture-in-picture -picture, uh, right at the, from the beginning to the end of your image duration and um, it automatically just kind of clicks in there and clicks in there now you're gonna want to do this the same way as the webcam all you do is just click drag it down to about you know right there and then it just sits there and plays out for the entire <clears throat> video give away see down here and probably hear it talking um, one of the final things I want to do I'm just gonna get rid of this real quick is if you have a picture right here or if you have you know maybe a video let's do it down here actually I'll just do it from the beginning um, there's a thing you could do voice narration what you do is you hit click more hit um, voice narration or there might be a quick link right here and what you want to do is make sure it's on a separate audio track so audio track 3 uh, go to auto setup wizard and here you can select your audio device I have my blue snowball but I'm just gonna do my webcam just because um, whoops <laughs> Um, okay Crimson I'm making a video uh, just because of the fact I'm using my snowball right now to actually talk and um, you want to do whoops, want to hit next and then just auto adjust this makes it so it makes your sentences sound normal and adjust the volume and shit you know accordingly um, then all you got to do there is no like timer for a wait kind of thing it just starts going so like right now it's going it's playing the video and I'm talking to it so if you don't want to do like a commentary or anything live this is how you do it you know as I, I'd say right here I'm um, you know about ready to run to the wild and gear up and pot up and stuff and then you don't you just stop your recording save your wave files oh, I'm just gonna mute Skype real quick so you guys don't have to hear that and then you just save your wave files to like a special fo folder or something and then it'll be down here 
and then it will, tear your... you know, of course, play through your audio and shit how you had it. Um, I can't really think of anything else that I really used Camtasia for. Okay, actually, I lied. Um, finally, you want to do, you know, your produce and share. Now, your produce and share, it will show you the dimensions and stuff if you do on the web and this will this is how it will render it in a mp4 file and that resolution size now for this I always do HD it morphs it I actually I don't want to say it morphs it but it makes sure that it renders in the best resolution at 720p since um, Camtasia can't handle anything over 1280 by 720 so you would just obviously hit next you know hit whatever and then hit finish now it was it will start rendering like this I'm not gonna wait for the entire render but a final screen will pop up and it'll say it'll just give you the details on like how long it took um, and all this other stuff then finally you just wanna go over to um, um, YouTube hit upload you know select files from your computer um, go to videos go to runescape we'll just do my latest giveaway and you just you just double click it and then just start going and um, I'm obviously gonna cancel that but guys I hope this helps you out a lot um, if you have any questions just ask um, those are just pretty much the basics on how to you know do gameplay and all this other shit and um, how I do it through Camtasia and what I normally do is just do like of course the screen uh, capture through Camtasia and usually I send it over if it's not RuneScape I'll uh, dink around with it in Sony Vegas if it's just RuneScape I'll just handle it all in Camtasia since RuneScape is pretty much a basic game and you know there's not really much you have to really edit or anything and um, now for like um, f you know World of Warcraft or something like that usually I have like you know click here if I have a series I have like a click here and click here uh, the picture in picture 2 on Camtasia really doesn't work that well or I just stupid enough that I can't figure it out but that's how I'd use the pick two pictures and pictures is through Sony Vegas but how to get Camtasia is just simply use Google it download the trial and um, find a serial code that's what I did I found a serial code just entered it in there and haven't had a problem since I did not pay three hundred dollars for it like everyone else not everyone else but people that use like crack generators and stuff but hopefully I'll be throwing out some new RuneScape videos too hopefully I'll be seeing your guys's RuneScape videos soon or whatever game you want to do um, but guys don't forget to play hard go pro and hopefully this helps you guys out a lot thank you